a part of that is collecting the data, which is kind of something we've talked a little bit about, but is there something you can say about how we can collect, can collect more and more data, not just on the one person level, like for you to understand your like various markers, but to create huge data sets to understand how we can detect certain pathogens, detect certain property characteristics of whether it's aging or all, all the other ways that the human body can fail. It, it seems like with the, with biology, there's a kind of privacy concerns that, well, actually not privacy concerns, it's almost like regulation that kind of pre prevents like hospitals from sharing data. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure exactly how to say it, but it, it seems like when you look at autonomous vehicles, people are much more willing to share data. When you look at human biology system, people are much less willing to share data. Is there a hopeful path forward where we can share more and more data at a large scale that ultimately ends up helping us understand the human body and then treat problems with the human body? So we are right in the middle. We're living through what's gonna be seen as one of the biggest revolutions in human health mm -hmm. through the gathering of data about our bodies. Yeah. And 20 years ago, people didn't want to go on social media. They're worried about it. Now you have to, if you're a kid, that's for sure. Uh, same with medical records. These are becoming all digitized and, and expanded. Ultimately, we're going to, even if we don't want to, have to be monitored. You know, there's going to be a court case that you know, I, I bet two, three years from now, someone's going to say, how come my father died from a heart attack? You had these biosensors, 20 bucks, and you didn't use it. Mm -hmm lawsuit right there and suddenly all hospitals have to give you one of these. There'll be a reversal, like to where <laughs> it's your fault if you don't collect the data. That's brilliant. That's And that's absolutely right. I mean, that's absolutely right. That's the frustration I feel when going to the doctor is like, you're. it's almost negligent to not collect the data because you're, you're making, if there's something really wrong with me and you're making uh, decisions based on very few tests, that's almost negligent when you have the opportunity to collect a huge amount more data. Well, I, let me tell you something. Yeah. Lex, the, the, I, I've got this inside tracker data for, for myself over a decade. And you'd think my doctor would roll his eyes at this. Oh, he's gone to a consumer company, blah, blah, blah. I, I had my first checkup in a year with him through video conference and he was running blind. He really didn't know what was going on with me. He asked the usual things. How am I sleeping? How am I eating? These kind of usual things. And I said, well, I've got new tests back from Inside Tracker." And he said, great, I'd love to see them. So I share screen and we look at the graphs, look at the data, and he's loving it because mm -hmm. he cannot order these tests willy-nilly. So I said, well, let, let's order a HbA1c, blood glucose levels, because I'm very interested in that. That tracks with longevity. And he said, well, I have no reason to order that. Do you have a family history? No. Uh, are you, do you have any symptoms of diabetes? No. Well, I can't order the test. I almost wanted to reach through the computer and strangle him. Um, <laughs> but instead, you know, I, I pay a little bit to get these tests done, and then he looks at them. So that's now the way consumer health is going, is that you can get better data than your doctor can, and but they like you to do that. Quick human question, maybe you can educate me. I have I think doctors sometimes have a little bit of an ego. I understand that the, the doctor is super experienced with a lot of things, but this is a fundamental question of human variability. Like I know a lot of specific details about like, um, I mean, it depends of course what we're talking about, but there's a, I bring a lot of knowledge. And if I have data with me, then I have a, like a, several orders of magnitude more knowledge. And I think there's an aspect to it where the doctor has to put their expert hat, like take it off and actually be a curious, open-minded person and study and look at that data. Do you think it's possible to sort of change the culture of the medical system to where the doctors are almost, as you said, are excited to see the data? Or is that already happening? It's, it's really happening. Now, we've probably lost the last generation um, that they're, they're no hopers, but so I, I teach at Harvard Medical School mm -hmm. and they're excited about this. They're excited about aging, which is a new aspect to medicine. Oh, wow, we can do something about that. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, all this data, what do we do with it? There's still the traditional pathology and all that stuff, which they need to know. Yes. But I, you know, time will change their their uh, mindset. 
I'm not worried about that. And like we were discussing, this isn't a question of if, it's just a matter of when. And it's, you know, I have a front row seat on all of this. Mm -hmm. uh, I had breakfast with a, with a CEO who uh, is making this happen uh, just yesterday. I can tell you for sure that most people have no idea that this revolution is occurring and is happening so quickly. Uh, if you're running a hospital and you can save $2,000 per cardiac patient, what are you going to do? You have to use it. Um, otherwise, mm -hmm. you know, the hospital down the road is going to be uh, beating you. Um, and there, there are large hospital aggregations, so there's Ascension and others, that just have to go this way for budgetary reasons. And right now, the US spends, what is it, 17% of their GDP on healthcare. For Let's say one of these buttons on my chest costs 20 bucks, it's rechargeable, and it can predict people's health and save on antibiotics, pr prevent uh, heart attacks. How many billions, if not trillions of dollars will that save uh, over the next decade? Yeah, so when the public wakes up to this, they'll almost demand it. Like this, this should be this should be accepted everywhere. This is obvious. It's going to save a lot of money. It's going to improve the quality of life. Well, and the CFOs of hospital, yeah, groups will have to, and insurance companies are going to want to yeah. get in on this. So now that gets to privacy, right? If should an insurance company have access to your data, I would say no. But you could voluntarily show them some of it if they give you a discount, and that's also being worked on right now. I hope that we do create kind of systems where I can volunteer to share my data and I can also take the data back, meaning like delete the data, request deletion of data, and then maybe policy creates rules to where you can share data, you could delete the data. And I think if I have the option to delete all my data that, that a particular company has, then I'll share my data with everyone. <laughs> like, I feel like uh, if the, if, uh, because that gives me the tools to be a consumer, an intelligent consumer of giving, of uh, awarding my data to a company that deserves it and taking it back when the company is misbehaving. And in that way, encourage as a consumer in the capitalist system, encourage the companies that are doing great work with that data. Well, yeah, healthcare data security is, is number one uh, on, on my mind. Uh, Inside Tracker made sure that that was true. But, you know the, these buttons on your chest. There's very private stuff. They can probably tell if you're having sex one night, right? So this is not the kind of stuff you want leaked. Yeah. So I don't know whether it's blockchain Speak or something. Speak for yourself. I want this public. <laughs> Live well, I guess it depends on how you how how you go. But yeah, uh, you know th there there's a lot of stuff you don't want out there, and we, this definitely has to be number one because it, you know, it's one thing to have your credit card information stolen. It's another thing your health records are permanently out there. Yeah.